Cue the music. Cue the music. All right, video number two publishing today. Oh man, what is inside the box? What is inside the box? All right, I'm not gonna make you wait. It's time, let's open up the next pair of running shoes. Uh, yeah, obviously they're from Nike, the uh, traditional orange box from Nike. Shall we, shall we? All right, here we go, here we go. All right, what's gonna be inside? Oh, I'm, oh by the way, I'm seeing these for the first time. Oh, there it is, the Nike Wild Horse. Five more pink and blue. Oh my goodness, that colorway is something else. Oh man, I don't know if anybody else loves pink. I'm not a huge pink kind of guy, but look at that. The Nike Wild Horse Five. I am a. Uh, I'm a. I'm a. I'm training for a marathon, but my heart lies in the trails. And so, all right, let me pull out the other one. So here is the deal. I am a little skeptical of Solomon road shoes i'll be frank i've tried them on at running shoe stores in denver i'm just skeptical like solomon is a is a mountain trail company in my humble opinion they've just been that's where they were born you know what i mean and so i'm like okay nike can you pull off a trail shoe another trail shoe so this is the wild horse as you know i also am going to be testing out actually i'll just show you uh, here we go, the Terra Kiger 5. Are you noticing some similarities? So I opened this shoe up for you yesterday. And complete transparency, these are my first pairs of Nike trail shoes. I've never worn Nike trail shoes. Nike, in my humble opinion, is a road shoe company and or I would say they also specialize very much so in track spikes and cross country spikes, but Oh man, can they pull off a, a a trail shoe? So that's what I'm gonna test out for you. Okay, let me just soak it in for a second. Hold on here. I, I'm seeing this for the first time right now. All right, okay, okay, there it is. All right, here it comes, here it comes. Let's, let's shake it up a little, shake it up a little, all right. Oh yeah, all right, brand new, right out of the, right out of the, fa the factory. Okay, it says on the side here, engineered, to the exact specifications of trail runners worn to be wild. All right, I was worn to be wild. Ooh, I, okay, so listen, again, I'm not a pink guy, but it's it's okay, it's okay what they're doing with the pink. Feeling the inside, oh, oh. There's a liner inside, oh, that feels nice, right? Oh, okay, a little bit of, a little bit of abrasion there from the tongue to the, but the inside through the toe box, I like that, I like that, okay. Now listen, I think it looks a little on the wider side, so that's good. Not too wide, but just a little bit on the wider side, out of the box, through the toe box. Of course, I'll get you my first impressions maybe tomorrow. We shall see. All right, all right, moving on to a few specs for the Wild Horse 5. So first of all, I'll just mention real quick, through the outsole, there's a rock plate in here. That is good. So for anybody that's like, I actually, I can see it and feel it. It's the yellow there on the bottom. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Yup, that is definitely the rock plate. So basically to help protect your foot from rocks out on the trails. Good work there. And I have heard that this shoe is an ounce lighter than the Wild Horse 4. About an ounce, approximately. So let's put it on the scale, see how much it weighs. So 8.9 ounces in my size and about 200 and... So 254 grams for everybody outside the United States. And as far as the drop goes, so the stack height, we're looking at a 20, about a 28 millimeter stack height in the heel, 20 millimeter in the forefoot. So an eight millimeter drop. I love right around that six, seven, eight millimeter drop range. So that's good. So that's the also known as the offset from heel to toe. As far as the lug depth, I don't know, but my guess is three to four. That's my, as far, three to four millimeters for the lug depth through the forefoot and, and through the heel. Um, let's see, the heel counter is looking not as aggressive as, let's say, like the Pegasus lineup, but there definitely is a little bit of a heel counter there. It does not have a fly wire system through the upper, just so you know. And I'm actually okay with that. I'm still trying to figure out, do I like the Flywire system uh, on the Vimero? Well, I don't, I'm struggling with the Vimero 14s right now, but what is the other? Um, I guess through the Pegasus 35 turbos. And it does have a Zoom Air unit through the heel. So some, uh, some cushioning through the heel. So basically there's an air pocket inside the heel to help reduce weight, but also uh, keep cushioning high. 
Uh, so anyway, we'll just see how it feels out on the trails. And then I have heard other people question and or, I don't want to say complain, but say that the, the grip through the outsole is not doing so well in wet conditions. So stay tuned for my thoughts on whether, whether the grip is solid uh, through this outsole on the wild horse. And you better believe it, we will definitely be doing a running shoe battle video between the Terra Kyger 5 over here and the Wild Horse 5, all right? So that'll stay tuned for that. Are you ready for the price? $110. Reasonable, I would say. Very reasonable. But let's see if it holds up to that price point. Uh, but at least it's not like... Anyway, at least it's not like 130, 140. Any, I will, anyway, we'll just see how it performs and I'll give you my thoughts as to whether it is actually worth $110. And keeping in mind, it was just released. So, you know, that price point is high for now. It will it will eventually come down. And yes, we're gonna go with pink for the keyword and the question of the day. I don't wanna go too negative, but we are gonna go here. Is there a running shoe company who you think is maybe going a little outside their lane and maybe explain why. And I know like you got to be a, a really a running shoe uh, geek to maybe answer this. But for me, like, again, I get re I really struggle with Solomon making road shoes and like, ugh, what are they like? Are, are they really masters of running shoes for the roads? And so what is a running shoe company who you think, eh, maybe you should put more resources toward what you're really, really good at. So, and again, I don't want to go too negative, but is there a company out there that maybe jumps out at you for that question of the day? All right. Thank you for tuning in to this Nike Wild Horse 5 unboxing. Yes, a trail shoe from Nike. We shall see. And I will be testing this shoe out sooner rather than later. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo! See you tomorrow.